So it was a solo stove, smokeless fire pit, truly smokeless. I got the bonfire fire pit right here, and I got the answer to that question, which I'm pretty sure you're not going to like. Yo, this is KV David. We got the solo stove bonfire plus a coat. Alright y'all, so I got the bonfire solo stove about three days ago. Full disclosure though, it does not come with this table. This table I got from Home Depot and I'm going to put the link um, down below, including the link to the solo stove. This is the bonfire, it's like the medium size one. They got one that's bigger, it's a Yukon and they got a couple different sizes. We went with the solo stove, with the bonfire and um, also I'm going to leave the link to the Facebook page with all the people. Um, who were giving me tips and where to go to get what and um, they recommended this table and it fits this thing perfect um, So thank you everyone out there on the Facebook page. Um, I'll drop that link as well um, Wonderful people you are and look at this So I can really cover it Saturday we had a poker tournament so I threw some wood in there and let it go and just let it burn We had smoke issues right out the gate primarily because I wasn't paying attention to it I was too busy getting busted on the poker table um, I was using the wrong type of wood. It wasn't clean wood to burn, and it wasn't burning hot enough. Now, I bought this stuff at Home Depot. This is kind of my bad, but it said right here. Look, it says fire log, indoor, outdoor. Somewhere on here it says burn clean, right? It says that somewhere on here, but anyway, um, that's basically not the right wood you want to use. You want to use real, real wood, and uh, that's what... Um, we ended up doing and that kind of solved that problem so as we start to figure this thing out um, it has to burn hot and it has to burn clean and that's how you get the quote unquote smokeless effect and sunday uh me and dt we actually had a pool day with the family came back and uh got right back at it and uh here's a little bit of that so check it out learn a few things already clean wood obviously that kind of stuff um none of that manufactured stuff you see over there um that produced a lot of black smoke we didn't like that so um clean wood and uh we're giving it our first go So uh, yeah, I use those ones right there. That's oh, the, the only thing I can get. Yep. No, that's good. Yep. So it's smoke. It's smoking. It's smoking right now. Um, we'll get back, see if it's still smoking. Hopefully, when it warms up, it's not smoking like this. All right. So we lit it. How long ago? About 15, 15 minutes ago. We lit it, right? Yeah. We started with some like some redwood, some really low kindling redwood. But how long ago? Just for the timeline purpose. 15 minutes. About 15 minutes ago, it was smoking, right? It's gonna smoke in the beginning because it's gotta get, it's gotta get hot. Right. So but it was a, if you think, if you're thinking of this as a smokeless thing, that's, you, just, just so you know, you're gonna get some smoke in the beginning, right? There's no way around that. Well, well think about this, man. Where there's smoke, there's fire. You're starting with, you know, a fire, there's gonna be smoke. But once that heat starts resonating, you're not gonna get no smoke with that cylinder and because it's, it's just feeding oxygen and, and it's going this way and it took about it, it took less than 15 minutes to get to that point yeah. so it smoked for maybe like five minutes and then that right there will burn for 45 to an hour with that one log look at that so no smoke. um no smoke so we had redwood bark that was yeah. from SD, uh, yeah. urban timber and that's a so, big oak log right yeah there. so we had redwood bark was actually amazing man yeah. as kindling Oh, it's perfect. The tumbleweed it's smoke, though. That's the thing. We threw the red one on there. It just smoked right. everywhere. Right. But as soon as it took it did. heat, it's home now. Yep. With the tumbleweed, one tumbleweed, right yeah. underneath that. I put two. I put two. Okay, two just tumbleweeds. To redwood bark, and that's one. What is that? One. Uh, that's oak. That's one oak that's log a right big, there, man. Hefty oak log right there. And that right there is burning nice. I don't and care no what. Smoke. Look no at smoke. that. No smoke. No smoke. Look, I'm chilling. I'm chilling right here. And I got no smoke. I got no embers. There's no embers. That's what I love about it. Yep. Because the embers, it gets consolidated in the cylinder. Right. So you might get a little, a little one like, oh, we saw a little one. But for the most part, 
you don't have to worry about your stuff getting burned up. You don't have to worry about smelling like a lot of smoke. Yeah. That's good fire right there. That's a nice fire, man. man. Well, uh. That's nice. Yeah, we'll check back in a few. Uh, right now, it's looking good. And this is, like I said, this is the second start. Second, uh, startup. So, that's off to a good start, man. If I say anything, you gotta, you gotta temper your expectations. Because as soon as you light it, you're thinking automatically, I don't. There shouldn't be any smoke. You're gonna that's get what I'm, smoke. That's what I was trying to say in the beginning. Right. You're, you're gonna, gonna get smoke. Get smoke, you are. But if you put in natural wood in there, once it sets, you set it and forget it. It's good. Man, it looks good, man. And and yesterday, it burnt throughout the day. Yeah. So. It burnt hot. It burnt hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's 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 a great burn. But this right here is not hot, which that's, is cool. That's the thing about it, because I have my drink. I have my drink right here. And it was still ice cold. Like, if you put your hand yeah. in there, normally you think this sort of whole surface would be hot to the touch. Yeah, it's not. It's cylinder. Nah. It's cold. It's yep. ice. Yep. It's dope, man. Yeah, and actually, this I was uh, this was uh, the solo stove. I have to share the Facebook page. This was somebody uh, posted that, just said, got that from Home Depot. It, it was its own fire pit, but you take out the middle, it fits yeah. this one. Yeah. So, that's a good... Yeah, you don't have to worry about setting your drink down there or your orders, your food. You don't have to worry about it cooking because there is there is absolutely no heat. It's, it's cold. It's That's ice dope. cold to the touch. Feel that. Okay. <laughs> it's crazy. Nothing. You would think you would think it'd be heating up. Yeah, no. Nope. But it's not. It's dope. Nice, man. And we're gonna be nice. we're gonna be cooking on this. Yeah. <laughs> Watch some hibachi. Yep. Some Korean barbecue. Skewer them up. It's about to go down. Mm-hmm. So I don't know about you, but for uh, from where I'm sitting, that that's smokeless. D, ain't no smoke there. Man. That's a smokeless fire pit. If you don't want the smoke, you got to get that one right there, cause there ain't no smoke. That's that's beautiful. You're right here. That's a beautiful fire. All right, so back to our original question: Is the solo stove truly a smokeless fire pit? And the answer is, I told you, you're not gonna like it. It depends primarily on you use the right materials the right technique you're gonna have a smokeless experience that pretty much means real wood keep the temperature up high you're gonna have a little bit of smoke in the beginning when you light it up a little bit of smoke when you add a new piece of wood but other than that primarily smokeless you use crap wood don't keep the temperature up high you're gonna have smoke so there you have it the solo stove pretty smokeless KV baby